Welcome to ECLIMU, Learning Simplified, and welcome to this lesson. In the previous lesson, we discussed properties of magnets, where we looked at properties like magnetic poles, magnetic and nanomagnetic materials, directional property of magnets, and breaking a magnet. In this lesson, we are going to discuss the fifth property of magnet that we call the basic law of magnetism and we are going to realize that when you have two similar poles like in this case north pole and north pole close to each other they will repel and when you have two opposite poles that is north pole and south pole they will attract my name is albert i hope you are going to enjoy this lesson so by the end of this lesson i expect you to be able to state the basic law of magnetism then verify experimentally the basic law of magnetism and then finally describe how you can test the polarity of magnets using the poles so one of the holiest laws in science after the law of conservation of energy is the basic law of magnetism which states that like poles of a magnet repel each other while unlike poles of a magnet attract in this case when we talk about like poles it means when you have both north pole and north pole like in the second case uh, example that we have on the screen here north pole and north pole are close to each other in this case they will push away from each other and in that case in a language of magnetism we say they will repel and then if you have south pole and south pole also close to each other like this magnet here and we have another one here we have south pole and south pole also in this case they will push each other away and in a language of magnetism we say they will repel but when we talk about like and like poles it means you only have one north pole and one south pole close to each other and in like in this first diagram on the screen here and in this case they will pull each other and in a magnetism language we say they will attract they will attract each other so in this case the basic law of magnetism states that like poles repel each other while unlike poles attract each other and since we have only two poles of a magnet that is north pole and south and south pole then we talk when we talk about like poles we mean north pole and north pole close to each other or south pole and south pole close to each other in that case repansion will take place and now when we have one pole that is north pole close to the opposite pole that is south pole attraction will take place and that one is summarized in the basic law of magnetism which states that the like poles repel while unlike poles attract each other so to verify the basic law of magnetism that we have stated as like poles repel each other while unlike poles of a magnet attract then you need a thread, a clamp, both and stand. Then you need two magnets and yourself. Then now what you do, you suspend one bar magnet using a thread so that it can rotate freely. Like you can see in this uh, diagram on the screen, you just suspend one magnet so that it can, uh, it can swing freely. Then now what you do, you bring the north pole of the magnet that you are holding with your hand close to the south pole of the magnet that is hanging or that is swinging freely and then observe what happens then now you bring the same same north pole to the north pole of the magnet which is hanging like in the second diagram then you note down what you will observe then now you repeat the same set with the south pole you bring the south pole close to the south pole of the magnet which is hanging then you observe what will happen 
Then you bring the same south pole to the south pole of the second diagram here. Then you observe what will happen. But now simply what you will realize, when you bring north pole close to south pole of the magnet which is swinging, like you can see on the first diagram, there will be attraction. Here there will be attraction or a pull. Then now when you bring north pole and north pole like in the second diagram, there will be a repansion. In this case, there will be a push. Then now, if I can just highlight some of the observations that you will make in that experiment, is that when you have two magnets like this one here, you have two magnets, one with north pole close to the north pole of the other, then south pole aside, what you realize in this case, there will be a repansion. Then, if you have another set of magnets like this, then you have south pole adjacent to each other, north pole very far away from each other. Again, in this case, there will be a repansion. There will be a repansion. Then, when you have now a magnet like this, close to another magnet, then you have north pole and south pole on the other end. In this case, the magnet pulled each other, and in this case, we call it attraction. Therefore, from this one, you can summarize using the basic law of magnetism that, like in this first set here, we have what we call like poles. Like poles are close to each other and they are repelling. Then, in the third set or second set here where we have north pole and south pole close to each other there is an attraction therefore you can summarize this as like poles of a magnet repel while unlike poles of a magnet attract and that is simply the basic law of magnetism so when you are told to verify the basic law of magnetism first you start by giving us the apparatus that you need you need two magnets a thread, cram, force, and stand, and then yourself. Then you suspend the magnet while it's swinging freely. You bring another magnet north pole to north pole, you observe. South pole to south pole, you observe. North pole to south pole, you observe. And what you will realize, north pole to north pole will repel. South pole to south pole will repel. North pole to south pole will attract. And then you can conclude as like poles repel while unlike poles attract and that is one of the important laws in science and in, in physics in particular now since we have discussed a property of magnets which we call magnetic poles and we have also discussed how these magnetic poles interact in what we called the basic law of magnetism then it's very important for us to identify or to know how we can identify the type of a pole in a magnet when the magnet is not labeled. And what we do here, I want to bring three cases. If you have a material and you know it's a magnet but it's not labeled, then if you bring a magnet whose property or whose uh, poles you know, like in this case it's North Pole and this South Pole, in this case, let's say the two repel. The two repel. If they repel, then what is the polarity of this side here? Then it means the polarity of this side is the same as the polarity of the magnet, which is close. So it means here it will be North Pole. Then on the other end, let's say you bring a material or a, a magnet whose polarities you know, South Pole, North Pole there, then in the same case, they also repel. Then what will you say about the, proper, the, the, the polarities of the other side of the magnet? Then it means if they repel, if they repel, then it means here yeah, the polarity is the same as the polarity of the magnet which is coming. So in this case, if there is a repansion, it means the polarities of the side which you have brought the magnet, which you know its polarity is similar to the polarity of the material which you want to identify 
its magnetic orientation. So this is the first case here. The second case, I want us to do this. You bring a magnet or the material what that you have, you don't know it's a magnetic orientation. Then now you bring a magnet whose orientation you know. You bring North Pole and then you realize this North or the, mag the, the magnet which you are bringing is being attracted. It's being attracted. So if this material here is a magnet, if this one here is a magnet, what does that mean? If it's a magnet, it means the pole which is inside here is opposite to the pole of the magnet that you brought cross. Then here it will be south pole, the other end will be north pole. Look at that second case and be very keen now. The third case I want to bring around is that you have a material who you don't know the orientation, you don't know where the north pole is and the south pole is, but you know it's a magnet. Then now, instead of bringing a magnet, you bring soft iron uh, material or a magnetic material. This is a magnetic, magnetic material. What will happen when you bring a magnetic material close to a magnet? We said all magnets attract magnetic material. So also here, attraction will take place. Now this is strange. Attraction will take place. So in case two and case three, attraction is taking place. So you cannot use, you cannot conclude that this is North Pole or South Pole. You cannot know because a magnet can attract material either on North Pole or South Pole. So for the second and the third case, attraction, we cannot rely on attraction to identify whether a material is a magnet or not because attraction occurs both within when you have a magnet and when you have a magnetic material. The only way which you can know the exact pole which is on the material or on the, ma the magnet which you don't know its polarities is when they repel. Like in this case here, if they repel on this side, then you will know this North Pole. If they repel on the other side and you brought a South Pole, then you will know that side is South Pole. Then in this case, we can conclude by saying Repansion is the most reliable test for determining the polarities of a magnet because it occurs only between a light pole. But attraction, on the other hand, is not a definitive test because it can happen between unlike poles of a magnet, like in the second case here, and it can also happen between a magnet and unmagnetized magnetic material. It can happen between this soft ion, this is ion, and a magnet whom we don't know its polarity. So you cannot use attraction as the method of testing polarity. You can only use repansion because repansion can only take place when the poles are like. So that will mark the end of our lesson today. In the next lesson, we will discuss the magnetic field.